After 47 gold and platinum records, dozens of charting songs, and more than 100 million albums sold, I was walking down the street one day. Chicago, the legendary band, is still rocking today. A brotherhood started with a handshake nearly 50 years ago. With a handshake and a jam session. Did you ever imagine the success? No, none of us did. To have this kind of success for this long is, is unprecedented. So guys, when was the, when was the pinch me moment? <laughs> We're still having it. So Poppy, do you yeah. want to walk up on stage? Yes, you, t you We caught up with Chicago yeah. on the final leg of their tour in Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, how the hell are you? It's a true band. A band of brothers. A band yes. of brothers. Yes. We would build these songs and build these albums together. And at some point I realized, and I think we all realized, that, that music is indeed what we're going to be doing pretty much for the rest of our lives. I've got no time for loving. My time is all you know. I re distinctly remember getting the first album in my hands, and I was thinking that this is a lifetime achievement, you know. Chicago Transit Authority, vinyl, double album. Uh, what could be better than this? This music has transcended time. Uh, it has no demographic. People are still coming into the audience, young people that discover the music through their older siblings or their parents. It strikes a chord in them. And people in the audience uh, are 15 to 75, and they're all getting this on their level. And they're celebrating this with us. You know how love was meant to be. There have been ups and downs. Band members have come and gone. But the glue that keeps them together, they say, it's a musical democracy. It's a total family. It was like immediately you feel like you're just, you know, one of the guys and they bring you in and it's not like... You know, you have to be over there, or don't play too loud, or, you know, and being a, being a sax player, too, getting to play with, you know, these two guys right here, that, you know, it's uh, just the best horn section I've ever played with, and they're talking about democracy, we're always talking about phrasing, talking about music, it's wide open. As the newest, youngest member of Chicago, what, what is it that makes uh, the decade not matter when it comes on the radio? It's just become the backdrop of, of millions of people's lives. And, it, and, and when they come to the shows, they, they bring back those memories of where they were when they heard these songs before. And I, I think that's why it's so transcendent and it's timeless. <laughs> The music talent is amazing, transcends all ages. You can't find bands producing this kind of music today. This is it. The great Jimi Hendrix gave Chicago advice they'd never forget. He said, just keep giving it back, paying it forward. You know, share your gift. And we, uh, we did. We all lived in a little house under the Hollywood freeway. Each guy had a shelf in the medicine cabinet. Each guy had a shelf in the refrigerator. Whoever had to take the last shower got the cold shower. I joined about 26 years ago. <laughs> I actually saw the band when I was 16 years old, before the first album came out. And I couldn't believe my ears and eyes. I mean, it was the best band I'd ever seen in my then 16 years. And uh, I've laughingly said, if somebody said, you know, you're going to be the drummer someday, it would be, yeah, right, and I'm Napoleon. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't have believed it. So um, I, I'm still pinching myself. I really am, Poppy. When I joined uh, seven years ago, I tell the guys this often, that uh, I waited a long time to be in a band where everybody uh, gets a little bit of the spotlight. Uh, and also supports the others at times. There have been decades more wild than others, like their years at Caribou Ranch. Singing Italian song. The Caribou Ranch happened to be um, very close to a college town. There's a ton of drugs. There are really good drugs. And it ended up just kind of like being a party in the Rockies. There was nothing else to do. Just, you know, chase elk. You, know, you could have chased you know, elk. I actually fell in love with an elk. Uh, I, I, got, I got to the point where they started looking good. If you leave me now, 
Chicago was flying high, but then came their heartbreak. Original guitarist Terry Kath died suddenly, accidentally shooting himself. That uh, made us all, pulled us short, and uh, uh, we kind of didn't know what we were going to do. You've said that you are still working through Terry's death. Yes. Decades later. Uh, I, uh, th to be honest with you, uh, I give Terry a look every night when we play Saturday in the Park. There's a lyric in there that refers to him. A man plays guitar, for a song. I, I still dream about Terry. He was like the musical leader of the band at the time. He would want us to stay together as well. You loved him. Mm -hmm. He was very lovable. <laughs> they did, they say, what Terry would have wanted. They stayed together and Just kept playing. Please welcome Chicago! Chicago has toured every single year of its existence. Finally, in 2016, the ultimate honor. It is my honor to finally induct Chicago into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But no sign these rockers are slowing down, not even for a second. I've always contended that, that music, creating music, keeps, keeps me in a childlike state. Yes. That is not too bad. Yes, That's, that's right. a good yeah. state to be in. We want it to be as organic as it started out being, and that's why we're still together. Poppy Harlow, CNN, Omaha.